Hey everybody, I just want to create a quick video to show people how they can create a unit test in a bit more efficient and productive way than the normal uh, manual approach. So what I mean by that, I mean that we write a test with... And each time we write a test, we'd have to create this each time. And you see some people copy and paste, etc. Um, but there's a better way to do that. Uh, note the um, naming convention I've used is unit works, no expect behavior. That's just the standard I use, uh, find it very useful, and also help us demonstrate some of the parameterization of the code snippets. So how are we gonna do this? If we just take this and copy into our clipboard, as we're gonna use it as our template. If we go to resharper and go to tools, Go to Templates Explorer. This brings us up this Templates Explorer um, uh, option. We want to create a new one, so we click on New. This will create a new template. Here you can see no uh, template with no name. Let's just paste in what we want to replicate, and we want to replicate that using a shortcut. So here, well, we're going to create a shortcut. Now I use normally U UT, uh, but you can use anything you want. Uh, you can put a description, but you could also, it's not mandatory, you can leave that blank. So let's just do that now. Unit test code snippet. And also I want to parameterize it so that when I uh, select tab, it moves across and I can quickly um, create my different uh, uh, range at an assert accordingly. So let's just put in what, dollars. And this allows us then to parameterize this work. And you'll see that these are now being created here. So we've got these uh, parameters here. And also we want to uh, kind of uh, end in the middle here, in the middle of the function. So let's just create a keyword end of a parameter. So that means when I create tab after expect behavior, I will jump straight into line four or in the middle of the method, should I say. Let's just save that. Okay, that's good. Oops. Let's just remove that. So, if I get rid of this now, and I want to create a new test, all I need to do is create a UT. There you go, my name, unit test code snippet. Um, unit work, you say, because it's tab based now, I can put anything in there. I create, uh, click tab, goes on to my next word and onto my next item. And then I create tab after changing that, it will go into the middle. And this allows me to create my tests quite quickly. And even more so if it's my very first time I create a class and I want to create my first test, I can just quickly type UT, import, and I'm ready to go. Hopefully you found that useful. If you um, have any questions, then please reach out to me. My name's Alex Brown. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like and share.